So hello, hello, everyone, and welcome back to Divine Rebel. My name is Racy, and I'm going to be giving the messages for you today. Uh, For those of you not familiar with me or the channel, I have no filter. I don't sugarcoat my messages. Uh, If that is not your thing, I'm always very respectful. I give you the opportunity to sign off now because, you know, I just I read how I read. Um, These are general messages. So please take them as they resonate and leave them if they don't. If they don't, don't force them to fit. There are other readings and other signs that would probably behoove you to watch, um, especially, you know, outside of your sun sign, looking at your moon sign, your rising sign, where your Jupiter is and all that stuff uh, says a lot. So make sure you understand how the different signs relate to your chart and the people that you uh, cross watch for. Um, these are the January readings. I do do the 2021 forecasts where I break down each month in advance. Uh, those are going to be exclusively on Patreon. Okay. As of the first of the month, um, all of those will start going up on Patreon. Now, for those of you not familiar with Patreon, uh, Patreon, uh, charges your, you your patronage when you sign up for that month, whatever the current month is, and then renews your patronage on the first of the month thereafter. So signing up on the last day of the month will charge you for that month, and then it'll go into the following month and allow you to continue with your patronage the following month, but it happens on the first So to avoid double charges or surprises like that, I'm just trying to give you a little bit of a heads up. It is best to sign up on the first of the month um, just for that reason, right? Because Patreon charges you for the the month you sign up and then the first of the month after that, okay? With that said, we are going to be getting into these energies. This is for Aquarius and those with strong Aquarian placements or significant placements in their chart. If you know the house that Aquarius rules and what's in there, you can gain some insights into a very you know specific area of your life. All right. So Aqua, Aquarian energy. The main focus of the healing, and you may be dealing because the top of the deck is the King of Pentacles and the, the bull is really strong on the card. So you may be dealing with uh, someone with strong Taurian energy or it may be significant in your chart. So you might want to also watch the Taurus reading. Um, I'll get into those in a minute. The actual focus for the healing is the base chakra, relationships, and the sacral chakra. All three cards came out. And relationships is a sacral chakra card. So... We're working on trust and faith. We're working on trust and faith when it comes to our relationships. The keywords on the card are intimacy, freedom, acceptance, and trust. Okay. You have to trust that the relationships you have with people are divine and for a reason. There is something to be witnessed and learned about yourself. Especially because and this will make sense later, especially if those energies that you're around are painful for you to continue to experience. Okay. This is about trust. This is about reopening the door to joy. It's about healing mother wounds, right? The sacral chakra is the womb. It's healing this maternal energy that we have with our own mothers and within our own maternal energy that we've taken on from them. How we've learned to understand what creates joy and what doesn't from our mothers. The king of pentacles on the top of the deck. The man holding on to the horns is upside down. It reminds me of the hanged man and he's wearing a crown. You're making heart overhead decisions based on feelings. The strawberries are really standing out too on the card. I don't know how they're significant to you, but strawberries. Um, Maybe you have memories with your mom and strawberries. I don't know. Maybe you need to go back to those thoughts. Um... But this King of Pentacles energy is about making heart overhead decisions. 
seeing things from a, a different perspective that's higher than whatever this bull is, whatever this stubborn energy is. This is about king of coin energy that is manifesting, a master of manifesting. And it's through this perspective, right, this higher perspective that you're going off of understanding the feelings and needing a break with the four of swords, needing a break on the bottom of the deck. And the sword looks like a caduceus, but it has a, um, like a goose head on the, the handle. Um, but it looks like a, it immediately reminded me of a caduceus, which is the, the healing symbol with the two snakes around the staff and everything else. Um, needing a break. And as we get into the cards for the month, you know, that, that scene, that icy scene makes a reappearance because you're in this nine of pentacles energy at the beginning of, of January in this nine of pentacles energy. And there's a hawk sitting on her shoulder and she's got her back to the flower and the flower has its back to her, right? You might want to go and watch the moon event that I just did the secret code names for the full moon in cancer. Um, Hawk medicine. It was the first code name, Hawk medicine. This That might really help give you some extra insight into the energy you have and are going through for January. Um, the hawk is on your shoulder and it, the hawk itself is actually turned back and looking at the flower. So... It moves into this icy scene, right, where there you are, and you're fighting this huge, like, goose. And it reminded me of Mother Goose, or the goose that lays the golden eggs. Like, all the different um, things that we just relate to, to Mother Goose energy, because it is this huge goose in the deck, um, the Prisma Vision Tarot. It's a huge goose. And it has teeth, like... It's the mother, right? The mother goose. And yet it has these sharp teeth and it feels like it's attacking you. Okay. The mouth is open. The tongue is out. Like the, the things they might say or the things your mother has said to you have been sharp. They've been sharp. Their words bit into you, right? It's that kind of energy. It's this attacking words that cause pain and you're fighting the goose you've stuck the sword in its mouth the sword representing truth the truth is their words are cutting their energy is sharp it's aggressive it's not the way the mother goose or the, the goose that lays the golden egg, you know, is supposed to carry itself. They're not supposed to be vicious animals, you know what I mean? And that's how they are with their words. They're like vicious animals. Whether they realize what they're saying is painful or hurtful or not. And there might be things that you're saying that's projecting out in your environment or the other people that you're around where you don't realize the hurt that you're causing someone to listen to your words, right? And it's about understanding that those words are painful and you don't actually want to experience them. This is why you're sticking the truth in its, it's truth in its mouth. You're sticking the truth in it. And the Six of Wands comes next, and it's very it's very similar to a traditional Six of Swords card that's usually seen as, the, you know, the little boat going out into calmer waters, right? But this is the Six of Wands. It's a victory to move on emotionally to something calmer. There's lots of ripples in the water. And you can look at the bright side or you can look at the dark. You can look at the shimmer or you can look at the shadow. This is about moving into your light and what feels good. Because whatever this toxic energy is, it's a complete distraction. It, it does not flow with the other energy in the reading. 
the colors, the scenery are very different in those swords cards than the rest of the cards. It doesn't fit. It doesn't fit. That's why you're battling it with the truth. You just don't want it around. You need a break. You need a break. Because that is not how Mother Goose is supposed to carry herself. Mother Goose is supposed to be loving and supportive. And taking care of her golden egg. Her precious, priceless egg. The miracles that she creates. This could be mirroring, obviously, in your own energy. This bull energy, this king of pentacles energy that you're dealing with is teaching you how to be a better mother, a better mother goose, a better maternal energy. Metaphorical if you're a man. I mean, you still have maternal energies. You still care. This is what's going on. This is about you moving away from people and circumstances that are cold and vicious. They're not themselves. They're a projection of lower energy right now. They are not themselves. Whatever energies they're around and are taking in, they're projecting it out. It's not, it does not fit your story right now. And because the energies are so misaligned, like you cannot relate. You are not in their state of pain. You cannot relate. The energies are vibing out. The divine is causing the separation because the energies are not in sync. They're not in alignment. They're on totally different playing fields. They do not understand each other. So you moving into your light allows whoever this is, this bull energy represents. Whoever it is, they need they need to learn how to transform themselves. This harsh mother goose, right? And we're talking about sacral chakra healing. Healing your relationships, freedom. Intimacy in acceptance and trust that this relationship is not damaged beyond whatever. But it definitely needs a break. Because it's, it's going to start rippling out of you, right? It's going to start projecting out of you to the people that do not understand the pain that you're in. Dealing with this mother, this angry, vicious mother goose energy. Sharp. It's too much on your energy. It has no place in your life. It has no place in your life right now. And once you move forward and once you start heading to your light, we hit the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles clarified by the Three of Chalices. We're talking about three very happy, in sync, mirroring people. Feminine energies, heart spaces, in sync. This is opening the door to the secret garden of fucking bliss. I did a whole post about this on Patreon. This is opening that door to joy and an abundance of bliss. When you cut this vicious mother goose energy out. Not because you don't love them, but because they are not in alignment. They do not fit with their energy in the, in the energy of your life. This is walking through the door. The same pinnacle that's on the flower you had turned your back on. Same one is on the door. It's the beauty of growth. It is the beauty of authenticity. It's the door to fucking the Garden of Eden. Paradise. Energies. Feeling like your life is complete and perfect and you wouldn't change a thing. You're at peace in it. You're enjoying everything that you're taking in and all the energy that you get to put out. 
because whatever this is, it is a complete distraction that has no, no place. You're opening a door to joy. When that person, whoever Mother Goose is, is ready, they'll figure it out. They'll realign themselves. Trust, right? Trust. Trust your relationships. Trust the connections that are made. Trust the unfolding of time. Take your break. Take your break. All labels aside, they're a hurt person who's hurting you and not and 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 screwing with the the flow of your reality. You take the label away. If you take the label mother away, they're just a negative energy that doesn't fit and it's screwing with your reality. The flow of it. It's unfortunate. But Mother Goose has to snap out of it and remember herself. Remember that she's a nurturing maternal energy that loves and holds compassion and is supportive of the way people feel. That it's important for the mother to see that the people she loves and cares about are at peace and happy and feel safe in their relationship with her. It's important That the mother doesn't inflict pain, especially emotional pain. It's important that they return to themselves. So, with that said, I think you've suffered enough. You put your best foot forward, it was your best effort. And you had no other option than to just hit it with the truth. It's too much. It's not right. It's painful. But you got to move forward. You're not bringing that energy with you. Not into the rest of your day, not into tomorrow, not in the day after. They're more than welcome back when they've left that energy behind. So until next time, guys. This is Divine Rebel Racy signing off. I love you all. I look forward to seeing you on Patreon for the rest of your 2021 forecast. Until next time, guys, love each other and most importantly, love yourselves. Bye, everybody.